This tutorial will guide you through setting the main system parameters on a Cayenne or Carrera switcher and checking which system options are licensed. It is assumed that the switcher is installed and functional. In the Engineering Setup menu, select the Video Settings submenu. This menu provides control over some basic system parameters. First, we will set the System Sync Reference. The top left pane shows the current reference status and system operating mode. It should display locked, but may change to unlocked or no input when the reference changes. There are four choices for the switcher reference. Two choices are available for selection of a high definition or HD reference, and two choices are available for a standard definition or SD reference. The two analog choices will select the rear connectors on the frame where the system will expect to find either analog color black for SD or tri-level sync for HD. The two digital choices will enable any external digital switcher input to be selected as the reference. The digital reference should only be chosen if the connected source is stable and will not change when the switcher is in use. Sources can be selected by using the Video Input touchpad and selecting the desired source from the list of physical BNC inputs. Any changes in the reference while the switcher is in use may cause undesirable effects on the video output. Changing from an SD to an HD reference or vice versa will always require a reset of the frame to allow hardware to be reprogrammed for the new reference. A warning message will appear informing the operator of this, however, selecting OK does not itself reboot the frame. The reboot must be initiated manually. If the HD reference is changed between 720p and 1080i, the frame should also be reset. Additional system-wide selections are also available in this page. One of these is the Mat Limiting Selection pane. This provides control over the software limits applied to all internally generated mat colors. These settings do not affect the level of any video inputs. Any illegal video levels applied to the switcher inputs will not be affected and will be processed through the switcher and appear on the outputs. The internal mat limiting can be set for none, decoded, transmittable, or both. Selecting none will allow illegal color values to be created by the various mat control settings. The decode selection will keep all generated matte colors legal for values of red, green, and blue. The transmittable setting will keep the matte colors legal for analog transmission should the digital output of the switcher be converted into a composite analog format. The both setting will keep all the matte colors generated within the switcher legal for both RGB and for composite analog. The default setting for the mat limiting is transmittable. The next pane provides selection of the switcher command processing. This setting determines at which point in the video frame switching of sources will occur. The choices are at the start of an even field, an odd field, or randomly on any field. The choice made here is normally made based on facility requirements. The default setting is on the odd field, which is usually the start of a new video frame. Command processing is only available for interlace systems and is not available for the progressive standard 720p. The next pane allows the switcher blanking to be changed. All switcher outputs can be blanked to provide clean horizontal and vertical ancillary periods if regenerate blanking is selected. Normally, pass ancillary data is chosen so that the ancillary data, such as embedded audio, will appear on the ME and AUX bus outputs. No ancillary data will ever be present on the preview outputs. 
The Timing Analyzer pane allows input sources to be selected with the analyzer source control and compared to the system reference. This enables all sources to be checked to determine if they are synchronous and within the allowed auto timing range. The Timing Analyzer window shows the available timing range for sources in each of the possible standards. Sources that are outside the timing window may experience vertical timing shifts depending upon which path through the switcher the source uses. Sources can be selected in turn by using the analyzer source soft knob or by selecting the touchpad and choosing the desired source from the list of physical BNC inputs. The switcher system timing can also be adjusted using the switcher horizontal or switcher vertical timing adjustments. These settings will affect all of the switcher input timing windows and the output timing of the switcher. These controls should only be used if the switcher reference differs greatly from all the sources being applied to the switcher and there is no other means of adjustment. The last pane on this page is used to set the default DPM crop edge parameters. The default DPM crop edge parameters are applied to the edges of any DPM path through the switcher when that DPM is active. This allows the DPM blanking edges to be set as needed. Adjusting these values will modify any effect using a DPM channel that does not use the individual channel crops. These crop settings are normally left at the default DPM crop edge values for the chosen standard. In the case of HD systems, these DPM crop edge defaults are plus and minus 16 horizontally and plus and minus 9 vertically. Zero is located in the center of the image. To verify the enabled system options, select the Engineering Setup menu and then the Install Options submenu. This will display the currently licensed options for this switcher. The system ID and type switcher is displayed in the top left of the screen. This switcher is a Cayenne with an ID of 56188. All systems will show values in the Permanent Options column. There may also be entries in one of the temporary columns if an option has been licensed on a temporary basis. Selecting the option group will highlight the licensed parameters and display the current authorization code. Pressing clear allows expired temporary licenses to be deleted. Please note that clear can also be used to clear the permanent license. So the permanent license authorization code should be documented and kept independently of the switcher. If a permanent license is accidentally deleted and the code is not known, it will be necessary to contact Grass Valley to obtain a replacement code. The Enabled column will be the result of any temporary and permanent licensed items up to a maximum possible value. The permanently licensed options depend on the features purchased with the switcher. Some features are standard on Cayenne but are optional for Carrera. License codes are not case sensitive and O's and zeros are the same. Dashes will be added automatically when entering license codes. Additional features can be purchased at any time and new licenses added in the new authorization code window. This concludes the Cayenne and Carrera Systems setting tutorial.